This is a follow-up video uh, to my last video. Actually, if you looked at the way that I had the Anchor Wizard installed, I went out this morning fishing and it worked okay. Uh, the way that it was, uh, the way that it worked before was the the reel opening face was on this, you know, was on this side. There was an eye bolt that ran across to the eye bolt on the other side, and then the anchor hanging off uh, through the anchor trolley. And what was happening, what I didn't realize, is by putting the small eye bolt close to the face on the other side over here, the reel is self-leveling. So the opening, basically the, the, the line was all stacking up and, and basically what would happen was I'd release the anchor wizard uh, into the free spool and then I'd have to give the line a little jerk and you know pull across on it to get the anchor to fall. And I wanted to be able to really have it be hands free and not have to be you know worried about the anchor not free spooling when I let it drop. Uh, this is the three and a half or the three pound flute. I think they call it a flute or a fluke anchor. Um, basically the way I've got, I'll show you how I got this rig. I've got this rig um, with a clevis on this one end. I put a rubber, just put a rubber band around in case these, you know, I don't want these to deploy unless I want them to. Um, and then I run the a piece of paracord from the end of the clevis down here up to a zip tie. And then on here, that way if the anchor does get hung, um, I can jerk break the zip tie and pull the anchor out backwards if the flutes are out. So um, I just got it rigged that way. So basically what I did here is alleviated or eliminated, I guess I should say, the eye bolt on that side by, and you'll notice the anchor wizard has holes drilled in it that allow you to adjust the angle. So I just made sure they were across from each other and it, it's good and solid. It's not coming off that rail. I was a little concerned that maybe not having the base centered on the, on the rail there was gonna make a difference, but it's solid. So now I release, put this into free spool. The anchor just, the anchor just fell on the other side, okay? By going across and just leaving that open. So now if I want to, and I'm, I'm not gonna take all the line out, but basically, I run the anchor trolley forward. Leaving the anchor wizard in free spool, what that does now is it allows me to take line off of the spool and run my anchor towards the front of the boat. Then the other thing I can do is I can back pedal, let even more line out if I want to, or if it's toward the back of the boat, I can forward pedal, let more line out and then reach over here, give this a turn until it engages, and now lock the anchor trolley in place. And if I'm in super shallow water, that's probably enough just to hold me in position. Um, if I'm in deeper water, I think the rule is uh, for the depth, you let out twice the amount of line. So if you're in eight feet of water, you let out 16 feet of line so that your anchor uh, is effective. Um, depending on the wind, um, Typically, once the anchor hits the bottom, a little bit of extra line out and it, it works fine. So then to bring it back in, this is, this is kind of the part that's, that's a little bit tricky because, the, because of the anchor trolley. But literally, I can reel this up. It pulls the anchor completely off the ground. So I'm gonna bring this back now. The reason is I'm trying to film this with one hand. But you wanna keep tension on the line, you want to have tension on the line. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring this anchor over here from the boat across so that there's tension on it. And then I'm going to go ahead and wind this up. Excuse my mess in my garage here. But basically I'm winding this up. Bam. I just think that works better. And the reason that I did it this way is because this this offset basically on the reel the open reel it's a self-leveling reel if you have anything that's impeding that it's not going to self-level and you're going to you're going to have line stacking on top of each other um, on top of itself and it's going to it's going to jam up uh, this way literally i can leave that hang just like that when i get on the water and not have to worry about i mean it's, it's probably going to cause a little bit of drag but not enough to be noticeable 
Uh, but when I want to anchor, I just reach over, let that uh, let the tension off of the the tension knob. Bam! It falls right away. So if you've uh, you got a bona fide at all, and you want to run an anchor trolley, uh, and you want to run an anchor wizard, something so you're not having to hand line your anchor in every single time, which is what I had before. I had the Yak Attack, uh, basically the anchor spool, um, and this is this is much more user friendly when it comes to anchoring and, and pulling your anchor up as well. So just to give you an idea, I, I did offset these just to give you, because most people are wondering, hey, is this still stable? As long as you go, I think as long as you go across, directly across from each other, the holes across, that is solid. That is not, and it, doesn't, it doesn't wobble when I, when I crank the handle either. So there you go.